Can a cube be intelligent? According to CA Immo, Germany, the real estate company that erected the building called Cube Berlin, yes. The Cube Berlin is the smartest building in Europe, they say. The 11-story office building, each side 42.5 meters or 140 feet long, was already fully leased before its completion in February 2020. It is part of the so-called Europa City, Europe City, which has been under construction in Berlin since 2006. The building is definitely eye-catching. The reflective glass facade is quite spectacular. It consists of almost 2,000 individual panels. According to Torben Ostergaard, the building's designer from the Danish architectural firm 3XN, these panels have a special solar coating that ensures the interiors do not heat up in summer. Thanks to the use of other technical innovations, such as automatic sun protection in the space between the facades, it was possible to go even 25% lower than the mandatory limits set by the German Energy Saving Ordinance. A good 50% of the total primary energy used by the building is generated directly in the building through heat recovery and the use of the solar system on the roof. If you look closely, you can see that the outer shell appears to be breaking open at individual folds. Behind these notches are balconies that allow employees on each of the 10 office floors to step outside. At the very top, there is a viewing terrace, but unfortunately it is only accessible to tenants. Tenants include a law firm, the German Railroad, a software company, a PR agency, the Gallup Market and Opinion Research Institute and a coffee shop chain. Berlin's Senate Building Director Regula Lüscher praises the construction, the striking glass facade and the first floor zone which is open to the public as an open marketplace and which is a public space, while at the same time completing Washington Platz in terms of urban development. But now let's get to the initial question. The interior is extraordinary at the architecture. By that I don't mean the layout of the office spaces, those are rather ordinary, but rather the brain. The cube is considered a thinking and intelligent building, learning from the people who work in it, but also from the operation itself and from the environment. Intelligent building technology recognizes the requirements and wishes of every user in every location and adapts optimally to individual needs. Therefore, the building is also a smart, commercial building. The building is fully digitized and controlled by an AI, an artificial intelligence, a self-learning brain that evaluates all data. For this purpose, 3,800 sensors are distributed throughout the building. While the sensors correspond to the sensory organs, the AI-enabled system platform is the brain. According to the motto, tracking of everything, large amounts of data are recorded and analyzed. This is intended to enable the building to self-regulate according to the needs of its users. Every user of the building receives an app and can check from their cell phone whether there is still a space available in the underground parking garage, whether the conference room is already occupied, whether the announced visitors or their boss are already there. The app can also be used to control the elevator, lighting, room climate or blinds. The user's preferences are registered and then automatically adjusted to the desired values. The brain learns from the data and uses it to formulate suggestions for improvement. For example, unused areas will not need heating, cooling, ventilation or light in the future. The system recognizes this and switches off the systems in these areas accordingly. Maximum digitization is also necessary for the energy efficiency of the building. Experts believe that to achieve an energy revolution and reach climate targets, there is no getting around the digitization of buildings. Maintaining energy efficiency happens in real time in smart buildings. Whether it all works that way remains to be seen. And perhaps not every employee wants the boss to know where he stays for how long or how much coffee he makes a day. But they say everyone should be able to decide for himself 
how he uses the app. Digitized network buildings are new territory for most planners and architects and present them with major challenges. For example, the protection of personal data must be guaranteed and, of course, comply with the general data protection regulation, say those responsible. The Rheinisch-Westfälische Technical University Aachen, which has been extensively testing the system in advance since 2017, played a key role in developing the digitization concept. The development of the central control software was in the hands of the startup Think Technologies from Germany. And then there's the threat of cyber attacks. Even at the planning stage of digitized buildings, special attention to the aspect of cyber security is essential. The question of what impact the 3800 sensors, 350 beacons, the Bluetooth hardware transmitters, 140 cellular t antennas and thousands of installed wires will have on the human organism through their radiation has so far been answered only succinctly. This is still to be evaluated. In any case, more and more office buildings will be equipped with such technology in the future. Incidentally, the Cube was sold to billionaire US investor Nuveen Real Estate even before construction began in 2017. The complete handover took place last year. Thanks for joining me. Feel free to comment and subscribe. Stay tuned. There are more videos coming soon.